Aldemar is 31 and a bachelor as well. For him too, the day begins with bottle feeding the orphans on the reserve, which do not only include spider monkeys. There are deer, parrots, howler monkeys, lots of iguana, and some felines. Adelina next feeds Pepe and his companion, Fifi. Like Newton at present, they had no idea what was good for them. Gradually, they've learned to imitate the monkeys that arrived before them. Imitating one's peers in order to assimilate new behavior patterns is the principle on which the learning process leading to freedom is based. For the moment, Newton ignores the food, and Adelina has to give him a nutrition supplement. Meanwhile, Aldemar looks after the monkeys in the last cage before they gain their freedom. One of the females, Kukita, is on the verge of being freed. Just nearby, Aldemar places some fruit on a platform hanging in a tree to attract the monkeys already living in freedom. These individuals, glad to be able to take advantage of this easily obtainable food, don't hesitate to approach the cage and create social links with those still inside. It's vital that each monkey released be able to become a part of the group. The tracer collar, which most of the already freed monkeys wear, informs Adelina and Aldemar about the behavior and the movements of the group, enabling them to intervene if one of them strays from its peers. un poquitito de los monos porque son muy interesantes. Ya vieron que tengo uno en la en la camiseta, ¿verdad? Y traje y este se va a quedar aquí con As she ustedes. often does, Adelina visits a school to make the children aware of the need to respect wild animals. La mataron unos perros y el problema es que ella no sabía She talks about the work accomplished at Kuru and explains the reasons why the spider monkey must not become a household pet. Estaba encerrado en this work she does with children is especially important in putting a stop to domesticating these monkeys. Adelina uses a store-bought stuffed animal to show the pupils that a wild animal is not a toy to be used for one's own pleasure. No! Muerde! Ajá, y los peluches son bonitos porque si, si se ensucia, ¿qué, pasa, ¿qué hace uno con el peluche? Exactamente. Y otra vez lo guardas y ahí lo tenés y no hay ningún problema. Por eso será bueno tener un mono de mascota. No. No, ¿verdad? Ojalá uno de peluche mejor, que no haga nada. Adelina finishes the lesson by showing the children all the fruits and vegetables needed to provide the spider monkey with a balanced diet. A ver. Muy bien. ¿Y qué hacen? ¿Ustedes se comen las carambolas? Sí. Upe, Siria. 
Adelina is now very well known in the region for her work in helping wildlife. She's been called by a family, which has received a small margay. After explaining to the children that the little feline will soon be too big to live with them, she suggests taking care of it and teaching it to live in the wild. A few days later, Adelina anesthetizes Pepe in order to transfer him to the final cage before being freed. It's time for him to take this vital new step, which in turn will enable Newton to enter the large cage, since putting two males together is something that must always be avoided. Fifi is intrigued as she watches her longtime companion leave. Since Newton doesn't seem to be in a hurry to take over his new home, Fifi comes to him. Meanwhile, Pepe gets acquainted with his new cage and his new companions. The instant he arrives is the moment chosen by Adelina and Aldemar to set Kukita free. Her cry of joy indicates that she has been waiting a long time for this moment. Now that he is in the big cage, Newton has to begin to eat fruit and vegetables. Before leaving it to Fifi to teach him, Aldemar tests Newton's reaction. Although he still refuses the food, there are encouraging signs. He doesn't move around the floor any longer, and he's given up his blanket. Finally, he lets himself be tempted. And even seems to like his new diet.
three days later, Adelina and Aldemar ask Frederico if he's seen Kukita, the female they recently set free. It seems she left her group and went beyond the reserve's limits. She was seen going along the road bordering the property. Equipped with an antenna, they go out looking for her. After several hours, Adelina finally captures a signal. Kukita is very close to the road. The traditional system of using bait is just as effective as ever. Tranquila. Eso es para que no se vaya a andar por quién sabe qué lugar. Ok. Vámonos. Lista, coquita. Vení, vení, vení. A ver, para afuera. Listo, ven. A little later, the monkey is released back into her group in the hope that this time she'll remain one of them. Yo creo que está media confundida, no sabe qué le pasó. Entonces, ¿qué? ¡Yesa, barbaridad! Y no se vuelva a salir de la finca. ¡Qué chiquita, ah! ¿eh? ¿Mm? ¡Coquita! ¿Qué pasó? ¡Coquita! I'm getting married soon, and if, as in the past, I've had to be absent and leave the refuge to Aldemar, this time things will be different. I'll be gone several months, and he'll pretty much be in charge. We'll see how it goes. We'll have to think and act differently. For example, he plays soccer on Sundays, but the animals still have to eat. So Aldemar will need someone to help him, and I don't know who that person will be. Oh, we'll find a solution. I can come mornings and evenings, and we can find someone for the rest of the day. How is he going to get used to the place? <laughs> Well, it'll have to be someone from around here, but anyway, if there's no other solution, when I have to, I'll just give up my sock again. For this group, the apprenticeship is over. They no longer wear tracer collars, and many of the females are expecting babies, the first to be born free on Kuru territory. 
In spite of the affection Adelina and Aldemar feel for the monkeys, they will avoid all contact with this new generation, which will take on the behavior of animals in the wild. Adelina will be a bit sad at spending less time with her protégés, but she knows they're in good hands with Aldemar. Thank you.